Hello everybody, happy Monday. How's everybody's weekend? Jonathan, you have something to say? I already called on you, Jonathan. So I was walking, all right? So I was walking with my friend the Booza last week, all right? You know what I'm saying, honey? So we're walking down the street, all right? And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking for so long, I don't even know how long we're walking for anymore. Am I right? You know what I'm saying? So we're walking, and we're walking, and suddenly, my tummy gets the rumblies. <laughs> and the Booza stops me. And he just stops me. He puts my hand on my chest, he stops me, and he says, Jonathan, my friend, my pal, my friend, <laughs> is you hungry? And you know what I says to him, teach? Do you really want to know? Yes. Really? I says Hungary. I'm as hungry as a hound dog, teach a hound dog, all right? You know what I'm saying? So today's lesson is a hound dog. So if you remember back to last class, during the 18th century, the country began to I just began speaking, Jonathan. Hey, teacher, would you mind opening up a window in here? Because honestly, I'm as sweaty as a hound and dog, teacher. I don't know. Maybe that's because we're in a heated building and you're wearing a leather jacket, Jonathan. Hound dog. So in the 18th century, the country began to blah, blah, blah. It's a hound dog! A hound dog. Do you have something to say, Jonathan? Yeah, actually, I was just saying how I drink a lot of water today. This guy knows what I'm talking about. With all this water I've been drinking today, and all this walking I've been doing today, it sure is a wonder that I have not yet expelled this urine that's inside me. And honestly, teacher, I gotta pee like a hound dog, teacher. Hound dog. Jonathan, I want you to leave my classroom and never return. I'm sorry, teacher. Just go, Jonathan. Just, just go. I'm sorry, classmates. It's just, since my dad left, there's one memory that I can't forget. And perhaps, perhaps I don't want to forget it. What was it? It was just, it was a couple months ago. It was night. Me and Abuzo, we were walking down the, down the hallway of a hospital. And we were looking for the right room. We were running, looking for the numbers. And finally we found it. You see, my mother, she was a smoker. And she always says lightning would kill her before cigarettes would. <laughs> she was wrong. And as I walked in, I saw her laying there with the tube sucked up to her in the IV bags. And she looked at me and she smiled. And she said, Donna, Jonathan, my boy, come to me. And I said, Mom, what's up? She said, Jonathan, you're the light of my life. You always found a way to make me laugh in the last few weeks, the hardest weeks of my life. Never lose track of yourself. Never stop telling jokes. I love you, my boy. And I said, Mom, I love you. She brought me in closer. She was whispering in my ear. She said, Jonathan, I've been laying here for days with these bags and IV tubes hooked up to me with all these fluids going into my body. And they haven't let me leave. She says, son, as a matter of fact, I gotta pee. Like a hound dog, teacher, like a hound dog. Get the f out. Okay.